Baltimore County Police released surveillance video of the officer involved shooting that killed an unarmed young man. Police say the video shows the suspect pretending to draw a weapon. WJZ is live at police headquarters. Rick Ritter stays on this investigation. Rick? Well, Vic, the NAACP has been calling for this video to be released. Police say they're doing just that to defend this officer's actions. And we want to warn you, some of this video is extremely graphic. 48 hours later, Baltimore County Police release intense surveillance video from an officer involved shooting that left a 19-year-old dead. My police officer had one second to make a life or death decision. The video was captured Wednesday evening by surveillance cameras at a nearby business in Reisterstown. Police say Keith McLeod of Washington, D.C. tried passing a fake prescription at a pharmacy off Main Street. Officers were called to the scene and approached him in the parking lot. Police say the 19-year-old suspect led them on a foot chase across the street to behind this group of businesses, a dead-end alley, and started screaming at the officer and making threats. Witnesses tell police the officer tried pleading with the suspect. The suspect, on the other hand, according to the witnesses and others, repeatedly used profanities, screamed and yelled at the officer, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. Police say video shows the suspect aggressively approaching the lone officer as if he had a weapon, and that he then reaches around his back, whips out his hand, and points it at the officer, which ends with the officer firing three shots at the suspect. It seems like they were working on him very hard, you know, trying to revive him. McLeod was later pronounced dead. No weapon was found on the scene, but police say this officer did exactly what he's trained to do. Any reasonable police officer or citizen encountered this situation would feel that they're facing imminent harm and or death. Now the officer has been identified as Officer Irmirsky. His first name is not being released. He's been in the department for about 10 years. This is his first time involved in a shooting. He has been placed on administrative leave. The suspect killed has been arrested in the past. We're told his family has retained an attorney. The Baltimore County State's Attorney's Office is now investigating. Live at Baltimore County Police Headquarters tonight, Rick Ritter. WJZ Eyewitness News. Rick, thank you. Baltimore County is in the process of implementing a police body camera program for all of its officers.